Hi guys, this is Terry, and I just got the Nemo charger for my uh, Tesla Model X in stock. It's the 40 amp 40 amp charger, and um, you can see what they did was that they got added a switch here for uh, EV charger, and um, I'm sure they were opening up this box down here and did the cabling from there. Let's get into the the garage. Yeah, so this is what they installed in the garage. Um, it was a NEMA outlet that's for the 40 amp, and they installed a uh, 50 amp breaker and using the 50 amp uh, cable. So I'm gonna do a comparison of uh, the charging with 40 amp. NEMA or charging with 120 volts. So I got the two connectors here. Uh, we're gonna see how it's gonna be different and like how long it's gonna take for either of them to charge. And you guys can like judge for yourself if you really need a wall connector or NEMA or just 120 volts should even work for you. Okay, let's see. So first we can see uh, how it's like if we use 120 volts, just whatever you have at home. And uh, that's what I did yesterday before the electricians came. And let's go, let's go ahead and see what it's like. Let's just connect it. And then, let's start this. Okay, let's get into the car. So... You will see that it's currently charging at 12 amp, 120 volts. So some, that's like two miles per hour. Some basic calculation is 12 amp times 120 volts is like 1.4 kilowatts to charge a full charge of 75 kilowatts for this car it's gonna take 50 hours so if you take the car back and charge for like 10 hours per day it's gonna give you one-fifth of the charge every day it's gonna be good enough for a day uh, like everyday commute but it's n not gonna be good enough for a trip so now I'm trying to use uh, 240 volts, the NEMA I just got a Johnny Electric Sky I installed today. And we'll see what it's like if it's like um, 240 volts and 40 amp. Charging my Tesla Model X. Okay. Just the same. Take the handle. Come closer. Pressed it. Put it in. Latched. Screen. Let's see. It's gonna beep again. That's pretty much because I have the headlights on. So let's close it to bring less noise here. So you'll see that it's currently the current is increasing. 21, 23. That's 10 miles per hour. It's gonna be even more. 25, 12 miles per hour. The volt is 240 here, and now it's 40 m. Okay, so basically that's like six times or more than the 120 volts charging, and that's gonna be good enough for uh, for a road trip. It's gonna fully charge your car within 10 hours or so. So I suppose that's good enough. So I guess uh, many people will be like me who has the same question. Uh, do I really need a wall connector 72 amp capability? Uh, my, my answer to that one is no, I don't need it. Uh, you will probably need it if you have like a P100E and uh, which means like you have a much bigger battery and you go road, tri road trips a lot, you want to charge a lot faster, then yes. Or um, 
probably you will get like two Tesla cars at home. So uh, you will need to charge a lot faster as well. So you need the capability. It's more like future proof. For me, I'm only having one Moto X 75D. That's good enough for me. So no, I'm going to just live with this 40 amp charging and it's going to be good enough for me. Wish you guys can find the perfect fit for you. So my name is Terry. Uh, if you like our video, please uh, click subscribe. And uh, we're going to see you at the next video. See you.